ladies, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me, and today we are making a product I'm calling Soft Velvet Cleansing Oil. So the inspiration for this product came from a couple places. The first was that in my research on isopropyl myristate, which is one of the ingredients you'll find in this formulation, is that it is often used by theater professionals as a makeup remover. I've been wearing a lot more makeup lately, having fun kind of experimenting and learning, and I was thinking it would be great to have a cleansing oil in my arsenal that was really good at taking off things like waterproof mascara and eyeliner. I also wanted to finally use some PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil that I have had for a while. This is our solubilizer, the ingredient in the cleansing oil that allows it to self emulsify with water and rinse off beautifully. If you haven't worked with PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil before, it's pretty cool. It's got a really neat sort of lanolin like consistency. It's quite soft and melts quite readily. It is the only ingredient in this formulation that needs to be melted. So we're just going to sort of combine everything in a beaker and pop it in a water bath. Once it's melted, it's pretty much stir and then pour it into a bottle and you're done. If you don't have PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil or you don't want to use it, please make sure you are referring to the blog post linked in the description box below for substitutions. The bulk of this cleansing oil is made up of inexpensive, relatively lightweight carrier oil, some safflower oil, and some fractionated coconut oil. If you don't have either of those, there's quite a lot of flexibility to incorporate oils that you do have, so make sure you are reading the blog post on that as well. But come on, let's go make some soft velvet cleansing oil. We'll begin by combining our heated phase ingredients in a beaker. This is a 250 milliliter beaker for a 110 gram batch. So at the bottom of this beaker, I've already weighed out 3.3 grams of PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil. To that, I'm going to add 44 grams safflower oil, 34.65 grams fractionated coconut oil, and 27.5 grams isopropyl myristate. Now we do need to heat this up to melt the hydrogenated castor oil. So I'm going to go pop this in a water bath and then put it on the stove top over medium heat for about probably 15 minutes until those little blobs have melted into nothingness. So once the PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil has melted through and you can see that the mixture is nice and clear, you can remove it from the heat. Uh, we're just going to leave this to cool for a wee while before we add our vitamin E and then pop it in a bottle and then that is it. So I left this to cool for about an hour while I did some other things. So now we can add our vitamin E. We're going to need 0.55 grams of it. If you wanted to add a fragrance or essential oil, this would be the point in time that you would do that as well. Please make sure you're reading the blog post for details on how to adjust the formulation to do that. To package it up, I'm going to put the cleansing oil in this squeezy bottle. It's a 120 milliliter or four ounce bottle with a turret cap. I find this type of cap is great for dispensing cleansing oils. I figured we could do a couple little demonstrations of how the oil works. So I'll put a little bit in this dish and then add some water and we'll be able to watch it go milky as it's combined. You can see there that the mixture has gone milky as the cleansing oil has self emulsified with the water. So that's that PEG 40 hydrogenated castor oil at work. And so you know that this is gonna rinse off really beautifully. And then for a demo of it taking off some makeup, I've smeared some makeup on my hands. So I've got some lipsticks, some eyeliner, and some cream eyeshadow here. And so when I'm, I'm taking off eye makeup, I do like to put the cleansing oil on a little cotton pad, but when I'm doing the rest of my face, I don't need one. There you can see that that worked really, really well, which is of course exactly what we want. And there you go. So we just made a very easy to make and very effective soft velvet cleansing oil. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and please make sure you are checking out the description box below this video for more information and clicking through to the blog post to read lots more, including uh, all the written instructions and amounts, information on scaling, shelf life, substitutions, and a whole lot more. So thank you so much and I'll see you next time.